Hi, this is Ryan from Stormbringer Magazine. And on my right, on your left, almost 29 years with Motorhead, almost. Philip Campbell. Phil, how are you doing today? I'm okay. I've okay. Been, awake, been awake for about two hours. That's oh. enough. Huh? <laughs> that's enough. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did the sound check, so yeah. we're okay. Yeah. Um, do you remember the time when Motorhead were not touring before the Christmas time in Europe, especially in Germany? It's been a long time, I guess, since you didn't it. No, I don't remember it. Yeah. It seemed to have been gone forever. Yeah. You have a rational explanation why, especially in the last couple of years, there's a massive boom for Motorhead. Uh, is it because the three of you are now, st especially on stage, stronger than ever? Is this one of the explanations? I don't know. You'll have to ask the fans that. I mean, um, we, so we, always, we still try to give the best show we can and we still try to write the best new material mm -hmm. that we can. And um, I, th I think people, after a while, I think they, you know, they respect that. And the kids coming to the shows are younger. Mm. You know, they're so young, some of them, in the front row, like eight and ten-year-olds with, with their parents and stuff. So uh, it's really good, yeah. So we can't complain, yeah. the three old guys. <laughs> um, last year uh, here at the same venue, I did an interview with Lemmy. And we talked about the possibility of an upcoming cover album of Motorhead. But right now, I saw some news in the, in the net that you and also Mickey have already written more than half of a new studio record. Can you give us any update on that? Yeah, well, we, we, went, uh, we wrote about six songs earlier in the year. So we, we opened up to, to do some more next, next year now, maybe get an album out for next year. And uh, we've always fancied the cover album idea, but... Uh, Maybe the one after that might be the next one after the next studio one we might do. It should be fun, you know. Of course. Anthrax had just recorded some cover songs as well. So I, I played on I played on the Tin Lizzy song with them. So it's good. Um, the World Is Yours was a kind of, let's say, no bullshit, just rock and roll album. Will the next album uh, develop in the same direction? Or do you try to put something new or maybe again a palette on the album? We don't know yet. We, there, there is, there is one slow song I think if I remember uh, so far. Um, we don't try to, we just write good songs. We don't try to make like a direction really. You know, a good song is a good song. So, you know, we have there's no plan to make it heavier or lighter or whatever. You know, it's just it is what it is. Yeah. Let's get back to the cover album because Lemmy told me last year that Mickey is a, a huge AOR fan and, and he will, him, uh, of course, force to sing a Journey song or something like that. What will you uh, force Lemmy to sing? Maybe something more exotic? Uh, I don't know. Probably, I don't know. We'll probably do Eagles or something. We like that. Lemmy yeah. like the Eagles, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. Eagles or Frankie goes to Hollywood or something. You never Relax. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lemmy is working on his solo album now since decades, I guess. Uh, you ever thought about considering doing a solo album too? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did start it, but uh, I, I was too busy. I put it aside, and I, I'm working on my book instead. The, the book will be more entertaining than the solo record at the moment. Uh, book uh, of your, your life uh, with motor. Book of the crazy, the crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Uh, in being a motorhead from nearly 30 years is crazy, isn't it? There's plenty, plenty of stuff there, yeah, plenty of material. When you, when you joined the band back, it was 84, I guess, in the beginning of 84. Was it ever in your mind that now, after nearly 30 years, you will more than half your life be side by side with one of, one of the most iconic persons in rock and roll business? Never thought it would last no. this long. I don't think anyone did, not even Lemmy. <laughs> um, let me stop smoking. So you're the only smoker left in the band. Uh, how is it I now? Started for you? back again now. Really? Yeah. Uh, so you're again the duo who is smoking. So Mickey is, you can bash on Mickey again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Let me started back a few months ago. But was it on doctor's advice that he stopped? No, you just got fed up with it. Really? Yeah. After more than 50 years. Um, When has Lem ever taken anyone's advice? <laughs> <laughs> no, never. <Huh? laughs> um, 
Yesterday, there was a, a really shitty overpriced box set released from Motorhead, uh, which was not in your control. Uh, how upset or angry are you and also Lemmy and Mickey when a certain company tries to rip off your fans with such well, an I, overpriced I, product? I, I didn't know about that. Yeah. But um, yeah, this really this pisses us off. You know, we try to give, always try to give value for money yeah. with everything. It's just people that don't do any fucking work just trying to make money for doing next to nothing like you know and a lot a lot of the time it's bad quality stuff with, with you know bootlegs and you know and mm. bad recordings and stuff at least they shouldn't be allowed to do it like but uh i guess we can't stop them sometimes we try to stop them but there you go it would be better to to buy the new live album Huh? It would be better for the fans to buy the new live album. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Much better. <laughs> much better quality, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, last question. Um, even if Lammy is now singing in Ace of Spades sing since more than 10 years, I don't want to live forever, but apparently I am. Uh, sooner or hopefully later, the chapter Motorhead will end. That's a fact. Uh, right. Was it ever for in your mind what you will do when there is no more Motorhead? Or is you don't ever give a second of this in your heads to think about it yeah i'll i'll just i'll just relax i'll always play music you know yeah. i mean it's, it's at some point it's, it's bound to stop but um, if, if if we try and pace ourselves if we slow down a little bit each year you know we still work instead of just doing 200 shows a year which is just gets it's a bit ridiculous yeah. but i'll always be involved with music and stuff yeah i'll just enjoy rest of my life for my dogs, my family, and my kids and everything. So uh, I, I don't know yet. It's, I'm too busy doing this at the moment. Yeah. But we hope a few years, Lemmy, will still oh, yeah. We have no plans to stop yeah. anyway. I saw it. You uh, confirmed for a few festivals in Germany already next year. Yeah, so we're getting um, booked up. Yeah. Again, okay. So don't, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't worry. Uh -huh. <laughs> By the way, my son, he's now two and a half year old, is called Aaron Lemmy. Is he? Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> Should have called him Phil. <laughs> uh, no, no, can't do that. Thank you for your time and have fun for the rest of the tour. Thank okay, you. Thanks.